Ms. Kola, am I audible? Uh, yeah, yeah. So you will do the recording, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, you perfect. are audible and I'm recording. So this will all get sent over to everyone tonight. Perfect, perfect. Yes, great. So, yes. So good evening, everyone. So thank you so much for joining. So we are going to get started. So I hope you all are muted. Okay, so in case if you have any doubts, please put them on chat. I don't want any regular text like uh, I got it. Okay, hello, hi, good evening. So I don't want any regular text because so we don't want to spam the chat box. So any like a, a real doubts if you have, you can mention in the chat. Okay, so I don't want the regular messages. Okay, so we are going to get started. First of all, I'm going to share my screen and then show you how to get started. So for VRT Virtual Robotics Toolkit, we do need these two softwares. I hope you all install these two softwares in your computer. One is the VRT Virtual Robotics Toolkit and the other one is Lego Mindstorms. Okay. So by uh, suppose like if, if you do not have the software right now, so I will be posting the link in the chat, okay? So if you do not have the software, please install the software and come for the next session. Uh, but still you can attend the session, okay? So let me put the links for the software in this session, okay? So I don't want I don't want anyone to repeat me in the chat box, like, okay, fine, thanks, like that, okay? We don't want the spam, like the chat to get spam, okay? So let me give you the message. The first link is for VRT software. So I'm going to put it in the link, put the link in the chat box. There you go. So the second link, what I'm going to place in the chat is Lego EV3 Mainstorm software link. There you go. So I have, I have posted two links in the chat box. Okay, so if you do not have the software, I want you to install these two softwares in the computer. Both the software needs to be installed in the same computer. Okay, so uh, so the Lego Mainstorm software is free, but VRT software is not free. So for to work, you will be needing a license key. So I hope your coaches would have provided you with the license key. If not, so you can go ask your coaches or as teachers, they will be providing you the license key for VRT software. Okay, so moving on, I'm going to share my screen and then get, I, I get started. I wanna just add one, one quick thing, Jasper, is that some of your uh, coaches may provide you with the login details. So they should have either given you a license key or your login details, okay? So thank you so much. So I'm going to share my screen. And then, so here you go. So I'm going to launch VRT software first. The moment you launch VRT software, automatically this Lego Mindstorm software will launch. Okay, just see how it works. I'm opening VRT software. It's already launched. And then if you see in the bottom of the screen, this v, uh, Lego Mindstorm software has already launched. Okay, so now, so this is what you get. So this is how VRT software will look like. So to make it as a full page, what you have to do is you have to go to this button, the regular maximize button, click it, and then you'll get VRT screen in full screen. Okay. So v, VRT stands for virtual robotics toolkit. Okay. So now this is the menu. I, this is how the software will look like. And now I will show you the other software. This is Lego Mindstorms EV3 app. So this is how it will look like. So these two are the two softwares which are required for the session. So now I'm going to open the environment in VRT. Okay. So why do we need VRT software? Okay. So the VRT software contains the robot and the environment. Okay. So the virtual environment and the robot itself is present in the VRT. To program the robot, we'll be needing a software, which is nothing but Lego Mainstorm software. So two softwares are required. So I'm going to click VRT right now. And then, so I hope you can see my mouse. Okay. 
So now I'm going to move my mouse towards top of the screen. There we go. Okay, so when I move my mouse to the top of the screen, so we will be able to see the control panel. So this is what you call control panel. There you go. And now if I move my mouse pointer away from the control panel, it will hide automatically. There you go. Okay, so if I move it again to the top, the control panel will be appear, appearing again. Okay, so the, there are some icons in the control panel. If you hover your mouse towards each and every icon, it will explain you what it is. First one goes for new environment. Second one is go for start or pause simulation. Third one for stop simulation. So we will be learning all these little later because there are lots to learn. I'm going to go to the control panel and then I'm going to click the first icon, okay? So whenever you want to create a new environment, you have to click the first icon, okay? So I'm going to click the first icon, there you go. When you click the first icon, this is the page you will get. So in the bottom, you have many environments, so different, different environments, so can you see? So, so you can scroll your mouse and then you can cross check. So these are the environments which you'll get. Okay, so I want you all to concentrate on my screen. Okay, so I'll give you some time. So during that time, you can check all these in your computer. Okay, so now, so here we have four tabs, Sim Basics, Competition, First Lego League, and WRO. So now we are going to work only on Sim Basics. Today we are going to learn only the basics first. So we are going to concentrate on only Sim Basics. Okay. So when you click Sim Basics, so these are the environments you will get, okay? So out of this environment, I'm going to click the uh, second environment, it's called Sandbox, okay? So I'm gonna click it, and then there'll be a small pop-up window asking, saying that project name, okay? So I don't wanna give a new project name, so I'm going to click okay, and then it's asking, so previously I have opened this environment, so that's why it's asking, would you like to override the new environment or else you want to start fresh? If you want to start fresh, you have to click no. If you want to override, just click S. If you click S, the previous environment will get overloaded. I mean, the last saved environment will get loaded up. And then if you want to start a fresh environment, you have to click no. So I want a fresh environment now. I'm going to click no. It will take about 10 to uh, five to 10 to, uh, seconds for the environment to load up. In your computer, so for example, uh, it, it's completely based upon the computer's performance. So if your computer's performance is a little low, it will take some more seconds, some extra seconds. Yes, I hope you can see my screen. So this is the environment, it's called Sandbox. Here is our virtual brick. This is called a brick. Since we are working on virtual platform, it's called virtual brick. Now, what I'm doing is I'm just zooming out the environment. So I have my mouse here, external mouse. So with the help of my external mouse, I'm just zooming in and then zooming out. I'm using my mouse scroll button, okay? So now I'm going to show you how to change the camera angle. So how to change the camera angle is, right click and hold your mouse anywhere on the screen and then move your mouse. There you go. So this is how you change your camera angle. You can see, there you go. So you can set your camera angle anywhere you want. Okay, so now let's go see the other side of the robot. So how to set this camera to the other side, I mean the front side of the robot. Okay, so place your camera over here, zoom in, and then right click and hold, do about turn. There we go. Now we are here towards the front view. Zoom in and then here's our robot. Our robot is already over here, ready to go. And then we have a small table over here and then some color spots on the table. And this is the environment. Okay, so zoom in, zoom out, right click and hold to change the camera angle. There we go. All right, so now you all know how to zoom in, change the camera angle in the environment. You can place this virtual brick anywhere you want in your screen. 
so i'm going to place it in this corner okay now i am going to teach you some more extra concepts in the control panel okay so if you hover your mouse in the top you can see the control panel again okay so you we all saw what happens when you click the first icon when you click the first icon you will get a new environment so it's like a menu page okay so second environment is nothing but start simulation and then third will be stop simulation start simulation means when you click this button so your robot is good to go okay so in physical in physical world what happens is like if you want to move your robot what uh, if you want to place your robot on the bench what you will do you will pick up your robot in your hand and then place it on the table right so but in the case of virtual platform it's not possible we cannot touch the robot right so what we can do here is we can move the robot here like a remote control car so i am moving my robot manually so what i'm doing is i am pressing w a s d on my keyboard so i'm pressing these four keys on my keyboard it's like playing a game right so so w the robot will go forward s the robot will come backward a the robot will go towards left d the robot will go towards right it's so easy okay so now let's move the robot from black to red so i'm moving my robot and then here we go we are in the red area so what we are doing now is we are moving the robot manually we did not program our robot we are just moving a robot manually with the help of keys w a s d okay now the robot is moved to another place now how to bring it back to the same place how to do that is go to the control panel and then click stop simulation there you go so okay, i hope you all can see the robot is back to its original position so it means when you click the third icon it will reset the environment so whatever the camera angle you fix whatever the position of the robot you fix everything will be back to the same position okay i will show you again click start simulation move your robot forward back or left right you can move the cuboid over there i moved it to red i mean to blue now i'm going to move this towards green there you go see my robot collapsed okay as you can see my robot is collapsed now i am not able to move my robot the wheels are moving the wheels are moving but the robot is not moving at all okay because the wheels are not touching the floor so now if we go to the control panel and then click stop simulation everything will be back the whole environment is reset the cuboids are back to the position the robot is back to the position the camera angle is back to the position okay so this is what you mean by stop simulation and start simulation okay so let me give you 2 minutes time i want you all to try in your computer okay after 2 minutes we will start the session again so if you do not have a key so what you have to do is you have to ask your coaches you have to ask your teachers they will be providing you the license key for vrt software i hope you all are trying in your computers Yes. Okay, I'm going to share my screen and then start the session again. There you go.
So, so now you learned how to move your robot manually with the help of WASD keys and then how to zoom in, how to zoom out, how to change the camera angle, those things, right? Right click and hold to the environment and then if you move your mouse, you can change the camera angle, okay? So now I'm going to teach you how to run a demo program, okay? So while manufacturing the EV3 robots, the manufacturer have loaded up a demo program in the virtual brick, okay? So if you run the demo program, the robot will execute the demo program here on the screen. So let's see how it works. So here is our virtual brick, okay? So if you see, there are four sections over here. You can move to all your four sections, left and right with the help of these buttons. Okay, so now, so this is the place where you will get the demo program. So it's in the second position, the second section. So there is a folder over here, enter into this folder by clicking the center button. When you click center button, we will be into the folder. Now, to run the demo program, we have to come down. The demo program is in the bottom. So click the bottom button. There we go. And to run this program, you have to enter the center button. So I'm going to keep this aside. Everybody look at my screen and look at my robot. So I'm going to run the program. Three, two, one, go. There we go. So it's a small demo program from the manufacturer. I hope you all saw. So this is how you will run a program, okay? Now I'll tell you how to stop a program, okay? So this program ended by itself, right? Suppose if you want to stop a program by yourself, you have to press this back button. So this is called back button. So which is used to stop the program. So I'm going to click the center button and then press the back button to stop the program. So to start a program, press center button, stop to stop a program press the back button okay so this is how to you should run a program and then how to stop a program so these are the two keys so now we are going to, to go to the av3 app okay i hope you all know why we use this app so this app is used to program the robot so i'm going to click this plus icon over here over here when you click that, it will take about 10 seconds to load. And then finally, you will get the programming area. Yes. So here we go. We got our programming area. So this is programming app. So we have blocks in the bottom, so it's easy to program. All you have to do is click and drag the exact blocks here. So you can add the blocks one behind other, like how I'm doing. So whatever the blocks you want, click and drag. So this is how we are going to do the program. So when you run this program, how it works is, so this will be the first block, okay? So you might ask then what is the first block here? So this is the start. So all the programs do have this block in the first, okay? So this will not be our first block. This is our, this is what is our first block. First block will be executed first and then second block and then third block, fourth block, fifth block. So it, go, it goes towards the right, okay? So block by block, the controller, the brick will get executed these blocks, okay? So now how to delete this block? Click this block and you will be able to see a blue outline on the block. So once you see that, press delete on your keyboard. So this is how you should delete the block. Okay, so now you know how to add a block, how to delete a block, right? So now we have two software here, but our two softwares are not connected, okay? 
so in physical world what we will do to download a program we will connect a cable to the robot or else we will pair it with help of a bluetooth or else a wi-fi connection right so here since it's virtual it's so easy okay so what you have to do here is you have to click this wi-fi icon over here so it says ev3 educator vehicle okay so this is nothing but our brick name so it says our brick name is ev3 educator vehicle so go to the software this is our brick and click this wi-fi icon there you go so now our both softwares are connected together okay so i will give you two minutes i want you to open two softwares and then connect two softwares and then get ready don't worry so this is your first session okay so things will go ups and downs okay for you like uh, some of your computers won't work there'll be a mouse problem so many problems would come so no worries by the time like you join to the next session so please arrange the necessary things and then join so if things are not working in your computer you can concentrate on my screen so you can learn like how i'm doing things so i hope you all have connected the softwares okay so now i'm going to start sharing my screen okay so i don't want anyone to uh, spam the chat because if you ask a question and it will be easy for me to read the question and an answer if you spam the chat so it will be really difficult for me to track your questions Okay, so thank you so much for not spamming the chat. Let me share my screen. Okay, so what you can see now here is my EV3. So this is programming software. So with the help of this software, we are going to program the robot, which is present in VRT software. Okay, so now, so this environment is little, little messed up, right? So some many of you are asking like, how did you get this environment? Okay, so I'm going to show up how to set this environment new back to normal okay go to the control panel okay so if you cannot see the control panel okay you should you should move your mouse towards towards the top of the screen if you still cannot see your control panel what you should do is click somewhere on the screen okay click somewhere on the screen and then if you hover your mouse towards on the top of the screen you will be able to see control panel okay so now i will tell you like how to open up a new environment again go to the first icon for new environment click that now we have four tabs in the four tabs click sim basics in the sim basics click sandbox when you click sandbox it will ask you the project name click okay okay when you click okay you will get this page so this is called sandbox environment okay now this this is ev3 mainstream software now we have successfully connected both the softwares with the help of this wi-fi now let's move your robot through a program now here's our virtual brick i'm going to move the virtual brick and then bring it to the left corner yes okay now let's go to the ev3 mainstream app Yes. 
I'm into EV3 minus 2. 